There's a program that's free from the RRUF database for Raman spectroscopy called Crystal Sleuth, and you can use this to actually plot and compare your data to other to standards. So if I go into my folder here and find my spectrum from today, I can plot my data here. And this is nice because I can go into the Raman search, which takes a couple of minutes to open sometimes, but when I do that, then I can then if I think I know what the mineral is, I can click on different spectra to compare my mineral to some known examples. If I have no idea, then I can have it attempt to do a search, although I have to still use my brain um, to try to figure out if the search looked reasonable or not, because the search software isn't always smart about how it treats fluorescent peaks and stuff like that. So you, you still have to help it along a little bit. Okay, okay so the search has brought up this window here, and I can actually, hopefully you can see that the minerals are listed alphabetically. So if I think I know I have calcite, for example, I could go into here and look up calcite, and I could pick some spectra. And if I double click on them, you should be able to see over here on the right, oh, sorry, on the left side, that it brings up the standard in blue right now. Here's another standard. It's plotting it in green, and I can compare those peaks visually to the peaks of my sample, which is in black. Right. The other way of doing this is I can actually search. So if I go back over to this part here, I can actually search and try to have it search an area for the best fit. You notice that in the software there's a range down here and so right now I'm having it search the entire spectrum. That may not be the best idea because it has this fluorescence kind of band here so it might be better for me to actually narrow that to only cover these peaks to see if I can get a better fit. Again this takes a while and a lot of times, especially if you don't narrow the wave numbers, the range over which you're searching, can give some results that don't make a lot of sense because it's misidentifying fluorescence peaks. So the results here are actually giving things like graphite and amber, which clearly aren't correct. So I can actually go over here and pick a narrower range, like only surrounding these larger bands and try to search again and see if it comes up with anything. So this can be used in a number of ways. I hope you can see you can plot your data and compare it to some of these standards just by clicking on them. That may be the easiest way first if you have some kind of context or clues other than the Raman as to what you think the mineral might be.